Hi everyone and welcome to another Civilization 6 Gathering Storm video. So in this video we are going to focus on canals, which are new in Gathering Storm, they are an official district now and it's unlocked with the steam power technology in the industrial era. And it's actually pretty easy to rush it, because it only requires industrialization. As you can see here, I only got industrialization in industrial era so far and I'm still missing several technologies in Renaissance era. So what we're going to do is start a city with the sole purpose of building a canal. And we're going to check how quickly we can build a canal. And the canal has to meet some criteria. It has to connect two bodies of water or a body of water and a city center. And it has to be built on flat land, obviously that makes sense. And canals may either go straight through the hex or bend by 60 degrees. Freeway canal junctures are not allowed. And furthermore, military engineers can spend a charge to complete 20% of a canal's production. I actually got a military engineer queued up right here, right after the Traukata army. So we will be getting that. I might even get a second one, we'll see about that. Steam Power also unlocks the Panama Canal Wonder, which has to meet fairly specific criteria. Unfortunately, I do not have any cities that can build the Panama Canal. But it's a really nice wonder. You can build a canal that's several tiles wide with the Panama Canal. Also, since canals have to be built on flat land, I cannot get one here, for example, because all these tiles are hills, I'm afraid. This one is not, but the Inca already built a district over there, not to mention it doesn't belong to me. But this would be the only valid tile for a canal through here, unfortunately. So anyway, we entered Heroic Age, and as a side note, since I'm playing as Dido, the first dedication here would be pretty easy to take advantage of. But I don't plan settling more than one city at this point, so I'll pick up the other three. So there it is. And now we need to get here with our settler, he's already on his way, and then we'll see how quickly we can build a canal in a fresh city. So see you when we get there. So, we are already here, I am also about to finish the Venetian arsenal. The Commonwealth of Venice in their armory have this inscription. And the Venetian arsenal is actually such an amazing wonder now, it's even better now than it was previously, because of strategic resources. It's just so good. If you are playing a naval game, it's almost a must-have wonder at this stage. Anyway, we are in position, we are going to start the city right here. And the military engineer is also on the way. I already started another one. I can get a military engineer in just a few turns. And this city isn't even my highest production city. I could get one in my capital. In how many? Let's take a look. Where is he? Oh yeah, I don't actually have an encampment here. That's fine. So one charge from the military engineer will complete 20% of the canal. And we can already place it. Let's just do it. So there's the canal. The cost is 423 production. It has to be here, because there's a cliff on the left side and it's also a hill. So there it is. 141 turns, no problem. <laughs> Don't worry, it will be a little bit faster than that. Just slightly. Oh, and by the way, this is kind of unrelated, but check out my yields here. This is with the Pantheon, that gives me plus one production to fishing boats, with the new city-state, that gives plus one production to shallow water tiles, and additional plus one when we reach industrial era, and also with fisheries, and the Liang stationed in this city. Isn't this amazing? Just look at these tiles. And all of these are just regular water tiles. I only got resources here, here and here. It's just so good. I got fisheries in the other city as well, no governor here, so slightly less production, but it's still 4 production on whales, and 3 food, 2 production, 1 gold on just a regular coastal tile. That new city-state is actually so good, it's easily one of the stronger city-state bonuses. Yeah, yeah, we will totally look elsewhere. <laughs> okay, bro, we totally care about your opinion. Alright, so there's the military engineer and we can use him on the next turn. The next one will be ready on the next turn. So that will be 80% total. 
And I might still get a third one. Because why not? It will make it faster. Yeah, you know what? Let's queue up one more because we actually need him for railroads. That's going to be useful for sure. Let's just add him to the queue. And move him like so. Before the workshop. Alright then, our spy needs to gain sources. And let's do this. And now we can rush the district. So add production. Send this guy already. I think four times will be enough. That way we will only need 20% of the production normally required. Will the city actually grow? Yeah, it will in a few turns. So that's reasonable. I can actually send a builder. Might as well just buy a builder. But let's buy a builder in the city with Lian. Because that's plus one build. There, 550, we can afford that. I'm making 258 gold per turn. So yeah, that's nice. I can show you my trade routes right now. They are actually amazing. 33 gold, 34 gold. That's so good. It's partially because of the Heroic Age, obviously. But Heroic Age will last a while. And we should probably build a coal plant now. So let's do that then. Alright, six turns. That will be more production. I still got some promotions I can pick up. So there you go. And this guy was supposed to be a counter spy. He is going to stay here. Yep. This way he can actually protect several districts at the same time. If I place him in the government plaza. That's four districts that he will protect just by being stationed here. Very good. The pen might not be mightier than... Alright then, so one more use. And then the other military engineer. Here. That's already 40%. So, as you can see, with a military engineer, or a few military engineers, you can build a canal pretty quickly. Even in a city that's founded just for that purpose alone. With basically no production in it and one population. I quite like that. That way you can actually build a canal strategically. Without having to wait for that city to grow and get decent production. Here, we can rush it one more time. And then I could either use a third military engineer or I can just let it finish. Let's use a third military engineer. I'll leave the canal in the queue and we can queue up something else. Like a granary. Here, move it to the front and we'll do it like that. Alright, so coal power plant over here, although I don't have too much coal. There is more over here and we could actually grab that. Alright, let's get that. This was actually a really nice city, just for that coal alone. I didn't even start it with that purpose in mind, but hey, another coal for us. I did start a city on an island on a different continent right here, but there's no coal over here. And now, since I'm playing as Dido, in theory, I could move my capital to this city and then pick up things that would make my other cities benefit. Because there's a policy that can give you bonuses for all cities founded not on your home continent. And then there's a wonder, at least one wonder that makes your cities on a non-home continent benefit as long as there's a governor inside. I'll show you in just a moment. So there's this one, Colonial Offices, which is plus 15% faster growth and free loyalty per turn for cities not on your original capital's continent. But there's also one more, which I don't think I unlocked yet. Yeah, plus 25% gold and plus 10% production in cities not on your original capital's continent. So I could also get that. And then there's a wonder, which I think is still available. Yeah, right here. Plus 15% production, plus 15% faith, and plus 15% gold for cities on your non-home continent with a governor. So I could stack all of that and move my capital here. And that would give me some significant bonuses. That's a pretty good strategy as Dido. Definitely a good idea. I'm probably not actually going to do it here, but I could. 
I'm still slightly worried about loyalty. But I could probably deal with loyalty. I'm just saying that's going to be one of the better strategies as Dido. A pretty damn strong one as well. Because basically every single one of my cities, except that one on the island, is on the same continent, right here. That's all the same continent. So all of these cities would benefit. Okay, so another use. Uh, I just need to swap the production queue. It needs to be in the front. So like this. And there we go. Uh, I can actually finish it now. Only four turns. And there's the other military engineer. So now I can use him to build railroads. Which I don't really need all that much, but we can still do it. It doesn't use charges. It just uses one coal and one iron, which I'm okay with. Let's do that then. We can build a railroad through the continent. I could build a railroad all the way back to my capital, but it's worth building a railroad from Carthage to Sidon to Ziz, so that I will be able to move my units around quickly. Definitely a good plan. And the canal is almost done. I can send my ships in that direction. So now I could attack Hamilton through here. That would definitely be doable. That would make it much, much easier to conquer Canada. There's nationalism. I don't think I want to change any policies at the moment. I'm okay with what I have. The next civic is going to be urbanization for the neighborhood. And I got another great engineer. Triggers Eureka moment for one random technology from the modern era. Workshops provide plus on culture. That is actually pretty nice. That's Leonardo da Vinci. So we got replaceable parts from Leonardo. And now we also got plus on culture. And I can use him one more time. Because I got a wonder that gives me plus one charge. On all engineers and all admirals. So that's going to be really Kilwa nice, actually. Is one of the most beautiful There's another wonder I built. I actually built a lot of wonders in my capital now. I think I got like five no wonders in here. Quite a few, anyway. I wonder if this is going to give me plus two culture to all workshops. I don't see why it wouldn't. Well, let's find out, shall we? Workshop. Right here. No, only plus one culture. Uh, that's disappointing. I was hoping to get plus two. Alright. So let's grab a coal power plant. That's only two turns. Might as well do that. And we should improve that coal over here. My builder is on the way. Uh, but I don't actually have open borders with Canada. And I can't get there without open borders. Uh, hopefully they will be willing. Yeah, they are willing. You want 100? I mean, sure, whatever. I can give you 100. Doesn't really matter all that much. Next up, astronomy. That's actually needed for one of the Eurekas. Might as well grab it. And hey, I could build a canal here. <laughs> that would be a pretty funny canal. A slightly useless one, but there you go. And there's the canal. We just finished it. Now I can go through here with my ships. Like this. I can go to the other side. I mean, obviously, that's kind of the whole point of the canal. And now I could go tour with Canada and take Hamilton. Then move into Hamilton with my land army and take Ottawa. That would be pretty easy to achieve at this point. And I also completed a railroad between the two cities. Birota and Ziz. There it is. Now we can move pretty damn quickly. And I can also connect Carthage. Just to be able to move across faster. And that's basically the canals. Now, I would build the Panama Canal, but unfortunately, I don't have a city I can build it in. So that is slightly disappointing. If I had like a water tile here, then it would be doable. But I wonder if Panama Canal becomes available if some of the tiles get submerged as a result Astronomy compels of climate change. To look upwards and leads because that might be a possibility. You might get a location for a Panama Canal that was previously unavailable as a result of climate change. Which I talked about in a separate video, by the way, so if you haven't seen that, then check it out. It also featured a giant death robot, that's exciting. So, that's going to be it, I just wanted to make a video 
to show you how easy it really is to build a canal with military engineers. You can build one strategically without even having a good city in the location. You can found the city for the sole purpose of building a canal, as you just saw in this video. So hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.